the reality that when you're when you're small and you're a handful of sales reps, everyone is sort of intuiting in doing their own process intuitively. Yeah. You know, if you hire yeah. the right people. Uh, and then there's that kind of painful process where you try to document that down and create yeah. some sort of adherence to it. Um, and, I, and one of the hardest things still is how much wiggle room you leave in the process versus yeah. how much you, you dictate what has to happen. Cause you always, you know, every rep has sort of their superpower and you mm-hmm. want to let them kind of be themselves and, and leverage that. Um, but you also need to kind of have everyone on the same page in terms of, you know, what, what the process is uh, or else you end up with, you know, everyone, everyone thinks stage three means something different or your data is crap or who knows what, but um, that's always a tough balance, right? Between like autonomy and process. You're listening to Accords from Vendorship to Partnership. For more sales and startup insights like this, please be sure to subscribe here or at inaccord.com slash podcast. Thanks for listening.